Uh, what I'm going to do in this lesson is talk about acids, alkalis, uh, universal indicators, indicators generally, neutralization, and as you can see behind me, the pH scale. Now we all know that an acid is, the most common acid that you've got is the acid inside your stomach. So I'm going to deal with hydrochloric acid, which is there. I'm also going to deal with sodium hydroxide, which is the, which is the chemical that goes into soap. Alright? Now, with a lot of children, this can probably be done as a revision lesson. It can either be done in year 8 or year 9. Uh, I usually do it in year 9. But what I'm going to do to start off with is merely put some acid into that one, into that beaker. I will ask my system to fill that up with water for me. I'm going to put some alkali into that beaker. And in the third beaker, I will have ordinary tap water. Now, I will, thank you, as a rule, give these three to the children. I will mix them all up and say, I don't know which one's which. And I want you to try and find out which one's which. Now, they would have worked with litmus paper, the red and the blue. They would have worked with universal indicator paper, or two shades of it. It's exactly the same stuff. And they would have worked with universal indicator solution. So what I ask them to do is to just try and find out which is which. Right, first of all, let's start off with the blue indicator paper. All I'm going to do is put some blue indicator paper, uh, from litmus paper, put that into there, into that, there and there. Right, straight away, that turned red. We know that when the blue litmus goes red, we know that's an acid. We still don't know which one's the alkali. We still don't know which one's the alkali. So what I'm going to do now is get some red litmus paper, and I'm going to pop that into each of them. That will go in there just to confirm it. It will stay red to confirm that that's acid. It goes in there, something's happened. The red litmus has gone blue. That's the alkali. That should be the water. Nothing left stays it is. Okay? Right. Now, a little rhyme. Let's just refer to these as indicators. Okay, although that's litmus paper, although that's litmus paper, let's just refer to indicator paper. I can also go and stick in some universal indicator paper, which is what I try and work with most of the time. I'll chuck it in there, that'll go, oh, a lovely bullet red. Throw it in there, that is going a green colour, which is what water is, neutral, green. Chuck it in there, into this the alkali, lovely dark blue. Now, I can also get my universal indicator paper. Pop, uh, wrong, my universal indicator solution. Pop it in there, lovely red. Pop it in there, that should go green. It has indeed. Pop it in there, alkali, which will go blue purple. I usually refer to it as blue, it's easier that way. Now, the rhyme has it like this. Acid turns indicator red. Keep this well inside your head. Alkali turns indicator blue. Purple, this I know is surely true. A simple little rhyme for you to remember. Acid turns indicator red. This I know. Uh, keep this one inside your head. Alkali turns indicator blue. This I know is surely true. And I just go and add at the end neutral is green. I know that doesn't rhyme, but just remember that neutral is green. Now, if I was to give you an equal amount of that acid and an equal amount, equal volume, and an equal volume of the alkali, and you were to put the two together, if they were the same strength, that's a simple way of remembering it, in chemistry we say the same concentration, it should come out green. In other words, they will cancel each other out, simple way of saying it, they will neutralize each other. Okay, popping the two together and then neutralize each other. Alright? Now, I could do, do put, put in there, but it probably won't work because I've got different volumes. Now, what I'm going to do now is try and show you what happens through the process of neutralization. You've got the thing here, a bit of paper here, which is called the pH scale, which has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 different colors on it. There are 14 pH numbers going up from, going up from 1 to 14. Alright? Now, what I'm going to actually do, in there I've got some water, just to give it some body. I'm going to chuck in acid. Throw in the acid like that. Okay? I am now going to put some universal indicator in. 
which is a lovely red color. And my assistant is going to go and find me a ruler or pass me a ruler, something with which I can use to stir. Plastic ruler. Uh, plastic ruler if you, if you have one. That'll do me, yeah. Uh, very, very effective server. Now, what I'm going to do now is add alkali. So could you go and give me a dropper as well, please? Plastic dropper. What I'm going to do is add the alkali to this. And I want to watch, I want to show you what happens. Now it should go through those colours. It may or may not, it, it, uh, it won't go through every one of those colours. But what it's just going to do is go through those colours across there on my pH scale. Of which I have got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and yellow, and violet. And I want to show you what actually happens here with those colours. Watch. The first one, uh, let's start off here. You might have to give me some more of this, sir. Uh, let's start off here. What I want to do is to go make it go to orange. You're getting there? Right. Now, once you see it, it's going to start turning. You should start using a dropper to give you well, here we are one or, more, one or two more drops we will get to the first colour of the pH scale which is going to be here we are, it's starting now. It still takes them, it just takes a bit of patience. Are we getting there, chaps? There we are. I have there my orange. Let's make sure that's an orange. Orange. There it is on the scale over there. Alright? Now, if I keep adding the alkali, I reckon I should get to the yellow. You have to go drop at a time. Have I gone too far? No, I haven't gone too far. One more drop. Another drop. And there we have the yellow. Okay. There's my yellow up there, which is a pH number of anything between four and five. Alright, let's get a let's get a purer yellow than that. There we are. Now once I have got an equal amount of acid and alkali in there, it should be a pH of 7, which is green. I reckon I'll put some more in here and it's come out green. There is my green. Hang on, let's make sure absolutely right. You can go through shades of green, but I want a healthy green, right? Like halfway between a light and a dark green, just a green. That's it there. Now that means it's neutralized. All my acid, all my alkali have cancelled each other out in a simple way of putting it, neutralized each other, I have got green. Now to show you the rest of the pH scale, that is a pH number of 7, that's the pH scale, I'm going to keep adding the alkali to go through those final three colors here. Now I want a lovely blue color. And there we have, that's more of a turquoise, let's get a proper blue. There is my blue. Alright? If I add a couple more drops, I will go to indigo. Indigo is a very um, indistinct colour. It's halfway between a blue and a blue and a purple. It's like it's like a dark blue. Let's see if I can get my indigo. Indigo. Here we have it there, chaps. There's my indigo. Like, like basically like a dirty blue. And finally, when it's completely gone up onto alkali, I should have a lovely purple, and there it is, the lovely purple. There. Now what I have gone and done there is just gone through the pH scale. There's your pH scale there, a lot of colours there. The pH scale that I use are those colours there. Where else have you seen those colours? The spectrum of white light, or to put it simply, the colours of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Roy G. Biff. So when you're asked in your next chemistry lesson, what is the pH scale, put your hand up and go and say that. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But you've got to remember, the ones to the left of the green, which is neutral, are acid. Whether it's strong or weak acid, the ones to the right of the green are the alkalis. Weak or dark. But remember, folks, 
The pH scale auditors is the colors of the rainbow. That is a very, very simple definitive experiment to show you that catches the imagination. They will remember it. Thank you.